Hi, welcome to our ongoing tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to explore converting bitmaps or raster images to vector files in Inkscape using Inkscape's built-in trace feature. In order to do this, you'll first need to load a uh, raster image into Inkscape. To do that, you'll go to the File menu and choose Import and then drill down to the file that you've already saved on your desktop or somewhere in your computer. We've already loaded ours. This is a ping file. Pings are uh, raster files like JPEGs, BMPs. The first thing we're going to do is uh, select our image and then we're going to go to the trace bitmap in, under the path menu and that'll load a dialog box that gives us some options. Here we have, have it preset. Uh, the number of scans indicates either brightness steps, colors, or grays. In this case, we're going to go with uh, colors. We're going to leave the rest of the default set as smooth and stack scans. And then we're going to click OK. That'll process the image. It takes a moment. And now that the image is processed, we'll go ahead and close this dialog box. We'll move the image over and compare it next to our original image. Now you can see here that we have a, a couple slight changes. The uh, color and tone is a little bit different. And uh, we can go ahead and go in and edit that first thing we'll do here is uh, to ungroup this image as it's made up of, uh, of uh, four objects in one layer now. We're going to ungroup that and see you can see the different uh, bounding boxes here for each layer. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and drag the top layer aside and then select the next layer. We're going to go ahead and delete that. And then we'll put the top layer back in. And in this case, we're using the uh, eyes to align it uh, with the previous layer. And we can move that over just a little bit. And then we'll zoom out to take a look at our finished product. If we want to edit it further and add different colors or change the coloring, we could do that uh, by selecting our uh, layer and then going to the path menu and choosing break apart. Now we have uh, all of the different uh, vector components are broken apart and can be selected individually. And uh, we can uh, work on uh, the image changing colors as we see fit and uh, we can select uh, the other components by holding down the shift key we can select multiple components and we can change those colors as well getting a little closer to the original um, we could play with this as much as we wanted um, we have some work to do on the eyes now uh, because of the, the uh, layering is uh, needs to be adjusted uh, but for the sake of our, our demonstration, this is uh, the basic uh, vector tool in Inkscape. I hope this helps you with uh, your work in the future. And uh, feel free to visit us at our webpage to get more tutorials as they're released in the future.